Hey guys, I noticed a new feature, or new, I don't know if it's really that new, but I noticed it, that you have a feature to check the reaction forces on your Zim Solid uh, runs. So not, not OptiStruct, um, but Zim Solid. And I will check how it's done with OptiStruct and post that into a future video. So why would we care about something like this? It's in particular interesting for all the non-engineers um, in my audience because you may never heard about the force balance or reaction forces but they are pretty important so let me break it down for you um, you have a, a structure like this and you have external forces pushing somewhere and you have reaction forces which are not really that shown but you have a support here and um, Newton's axiom would tell you that a body would move if you push it with a force, right? So you can think about it this that easy. If you push a skateboard, it will roll away. Um, now, the thing is that if it should not move, which is the case for all static uh, load cases, which you want to simulate with Inspire, then those forces have to be in balance. So that means you have two forces pushing it down here. They have a magnitude of 1500 newtons each, so 3000 newtons in total. So you would expect a counter force here, which is also 3 kilonewtons in minus x direction. So they, they should balance out. That means that the sum of all forces in each of the coordinate system's directions should be zero. Sum of forces is zero. This is the first of two sets of equations. The second set is that you have a moment balance. So each um, for every point in the structure, there should be a balance of moments. So for example, you take this point here and you take all the forces with their uh, respecting um, lever arm and uh, multiply them together to, so that it is a moment. So for example, here you have this force and a distance from here to here, to this axis. And the same thing from here to here times this force, those two are creating a moment around this point. Now the reaction moment here would be in the opposite direction and should be the same as those two forces times their respecting uh, lever arm. So let's just calculate that rather quickly because then I can show you that the numbers make sense. So we would like to have a distance from the center here. Uh, center here. Why is it not? Okay. So from here the center to here the center. So this distance is not a lever arm, but if you click on it here, you get the components. And as you see that the Y direction is exactly what we want to have it here, you have 0 0.254 meters. So this is the lever arm for both forces, right? Now, um, put on the calculator to work here. So you have 0 0.254. 0 four times 3000 newtons because you have 500 here and 500 there um, you get 762 newton meters pay close attention that you have the uh, unit system correct here right so 762 now um, I can delete this again now in order to be able to do this make sure you have your preferences in the run options set to sim solid right so if that's optistruct you would not have this uh, possibility here which i'll show you in a minute here this symbol called reaction forces now i will just uh, run the simulation like so it's not really that much of an importance to get the stresses right here so it's i i picked the, the fast option now this is um the thing and you also can see the movement here in the displacement see how it's like circles this is because it's like bending downwards and you can also um, see that here right so this is the reaction mo moment acting here uh, and or you could also say the the force is pushing it down and uh, bring it in, in motion like with a when you change your your wheels when you loosen the screws so this is the same thing acting here so but now the reaction forces you have this button here and if it's now enabled you can click on any support you have 
And if I click on this support, you will get exactly what um, we calculated before. You have 3000 newtons of a reaction force. You can also see the direction. So the direction of 3000 newton, newtons is opposite to the forces here. And you have the moment and the moment um, is a bit harder to describe, but you have your uh, right hand rule. So just point your thumb in the direction of this arrow and the, the, direction, the, the, the direction of your other fingers, which is a turn, this is in this case uh, counterclockwise. This is the, the direction of the moment. So the forces here would push this into rotation clockwise and the uh, moment here is acting against it counterclockwise and uh, you have it here 762 newton meters by the way if you want to have that in newton millimeters because you do this in a different system you can cha just change it here in the lower hand side corner i change it for example to mpa and you see that it's 7.6 to the power of 5 uh, 10 to the 5 power yeah you know what i mean and newton millimeters right so this is it um yeah so that's it about reaction forces and why is that important um in a fe calculation those forces should balance out because otherwise the results you're getting here are not correct you would also see it in the displacement normally if a, if a component is moving so there's another layer of security that you catch something like this but to make sure that you understood your structure well and I mean for a simple structure like this it's pretty easy and obvious and trivial and whatnot but for more complicated structures where you also have um, like uh, not, not only forces but also pressures uh, acting and you have balance forces and whatnot and there's there's there it's a lot more interesting and uh, relevant re relevant uh, to check those kind of things so if you take something away from this video, please take away this. There's an easy way of SimSolid measuring your reaction forces, displaying them and checking them. You should do it anyway. For OptiStruct, I will take a look into it, but my suspicion suspicion, suspicion would be <laughs> that you would find it in the out file, so the, the results file. Um, in HyperMesh or OptiStruct, you could definitely uh, put it out in the, in the global output requests but i'm not sure if it's done automatically in inspire but i will check that and it's important to check this and it will enhance your your understanding of structures greatly if you um yeah just put some work into it put some hours uh, into it and uh, just get get familiar with the uh, with the concepts all right thanks guys have a nice day and if there's any questions about this just let me know and i'll be happy to answer thank you and have a nice day